Here we're looking at some word problems involving multiple rates. So in these word problems, we always want to make sure we read really closely and um, pay attention to all the information that's there. In this case, we're looking at 720 dishes that need to be rinsed. John can do them in 72 minutes all by himself. And then Bob, his buddy, takes 144 minutes, a little bit slower but it's the same dishes. So the thing here you gotta pick up on is that it's the same number of dishes. So if they work together, how long is it gonna take to do that same number? Alright, so we're talking about multiple rates here. We're talking about two different people. So first we talk about, we, we look at John and uh, we recognize that, oh okay, John can do 720 dishes in 72 minutes. That's 10 dishes per minute. If we do that same calculation for Bob, then we can recognize that that's only 5 dishes per minute. 720, same number of dishes in 144 minutes. Now if you think about it, John's doing 10 dishes every minute and Bob's doing 5 dishes every minute. If they're working together, then couldn't we just add those? And together they'd be doing 15 dishes per minute. And we still want to know how long it takes for 720 dishes, so we just take that 720 and divide by the 15 to get our final answer of 48 minutes. Here's another one we can look at. This one's similar with different situation two machines. One's producing 5,700 cans in 190 minutes. The other one's an older one. It takes 285 minutes to do, to do the same number of cans. So once again, same process. We do our division and we figure out the first machine does 30 cans per minute. The older machine does 20 cans per minute and since they're working together we can add those to get 50 cans per minute and how long is that going to take to do 5700 cans well we just do that simple division 5700 divided by 50 and we get 114 minutes for our final answer and there you have it